We then conducted a large national sample with Harris Polls, we're in a, a great polling organization in the US, and we got this huge representative sample all across the US of eight to 18 year olds. We found that nine out of 10 kids play games, that's been found in other studies. We find that the average amount of time is about 13 hours a week uh, in the US. Um, when we asked the kids, do your parents have any rules for your use, uh, only half the kids say that their family has any rules at all. And when we look at the types of games they're playing, 22% uh, of you know, elementary school children are playing what would be here an R-rated game. And they own these. It's not just they play them, they own them in their houses. 40% of 12 to 14 year olds are playing uh, the mature games and over half of 15 through 18 year olds are playing them. When we look across all the kids though, we find that eight and a half percent of them would classify as addicted by this clinical definition. And we found, again, the same type of pattern, that they are spending more time playing, they are getting worse grades, they're more likely to have been uh, diagnosed with an attention deficit problem, they're more likely to have game systems in their bedrooms, they're more likely to say they feel addicted. Now is eight and a half percent a big number or a small number? In one sense, it's good news, right? 92% of gamers aren't having a problem. That's good. So, but if 8% are, how many kids is that? Well, in the US, there are 40 million children between eight and 18. If nine out of 10 of them play games and eight and a half percent of them are addicted, that's over three million children today are taking serious damage to their lives because of the way they're gaming. And they're not getting help because no one thinks this is really a real problem yet. Now, how do you know if your research is having an impact on the world? Well, when it gets picked on by late night comedy shows, Jimmy Fallon, this new study shows about one out of every 10 kids who plays video games is addicted. You know what those kids really need is rehab. That rehab is such an awesome game. It's on Xbox and PlayStation. I played it for six hours yesterday. Now, when we look across countries, this 8% number seems to be somewhere in the middle of what most countries are starting to find. In the US, uh, other studies are finding a similar number. It's 8% in Australia, 11% uh, in Germany, 8.5% in Singapore, 10% in mainland China, 7.5% in Taiwan. Uh, there are some studies that show lower, there are some that show higher, but really it looks like they're all starting to coalesce somewhere in here between uh, you know, 7 and 10%.